Welcome to Django Code Review number three. The goal of Django Code Review is to actually look over your code and offer some suggestions for improvement to make your code just a little bit better. And we will be picking people at random. Now to be picked, you have to be a subscriber on joincfe.com slash YouTube. So you wanna subscribe, make sure you hit that bell and then leave a comment on any Django Code Review video. If you don't do that, we're unable to actually review yours and we hope to get to everybody, but that's probably not likely. So you might have to post it many times. And of course, make sure you're only using Django itself. And we're gonna be using off of one file. We're gonna make suggestions off of one file. In some cases, we might go either further than that, but please make sure that you're going directly to the file, much like what we see here. So in this one, I'm actually gonna be updating the post detail here. Now I could update all these other ones, but I just wanted to show you one actual view function that we can update using a class-based view instead of a function-based view. And we may have done this before, but it's always good to review how things are done. Now with this, I'm actually not gonna be testing it. I'm gonna leave it to you guys to test. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this file and we're gonna create a new class in here specifically for the post detail. And I'm just gonna write created for the Django code review. And we're gonna make our new class, but the before we make our new class, let's go ahead and import django.views.generic. We're gonna import the detail view. And we're gonna say class post detail view, and it inherits from the detail view itself. And we're gonna do define well, we want to define a few things. We're going to define get object. And it's going to be self args and keyword args. And in this case, I'm literally going to do this right here. Actually, the whole portion of this. And we're going to return the instance. So let's make sure that we get the spacing correct. Otherwise, we might run into some errors. So I'm not really checking the logic of this. I'm really just checking and making sure that this is done, right? Like overall, this logic looks pretty sound. Now, best case scenario, I would actually check to make sure this instance has all the stuff. But since I actually wrote this code, it definitely does. If it didn't, I might even suggest going back to that model and showing you those things too. But since I wrote this code, I know exactly what's going on. And if you watched some of our other Django code reviews or the first two, you would have seen that these things exist. So now that I've got this, I've got this get object method here. So this will actually get the object that's in there. Uh, one thing that I'm missing in here is the slug. So I'll just say slug equals to none right there. So inside of the get object method, this might work, but it also might not. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off of the tried and true method and say slug equals to self.keywordargs.get slug. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. Still the same, this get object is working. So that is still the same. The next part that is not the same is we're gonna define, and this is gonna be get context data. So this is gonna be updating our context. And we're gonna take in self, args and keyword args. And basically what we wanna do here is get the default context, which is doing the super call, post detail view self and dot get context data, args and keyword args. And then we wanna go ahead and do context instance is actually equal to the context object. Because how detail views go, it's object, not instance. We just called it instance in this detail, uh, probably for some reason for TriJango itself. But in this case, we actually want the instance to be the object. But since I'm gonna use it a couple more times, I'll just say instance equals to context object. Now that's calling this up here. So this get context data is not gonna do anything until get object is handled. So that means that instance is equal to instance again. And context, of title is equal to instance.title. And then of course the share string is the last part and that's context. And this is gonna be share string. And that's equal to, well, it's gonna be equal to this quote plus, plus stuff here. 
And then finally, oops, we want to make sure that this is context here. And then we'll finally return context. And that's that. So that actually changes our function-based view to a class-based view right here. And the way you're going to do that in the URL, so in urls.py, you would add this in, you would import it, and then do post detail view as view instead of just the post detail. So that is how we would do that. Um, that is Django code review number three. Um, this obviously can 100% still be improved. So let's actually go ahead and do that. I, I, I don't wanna rob you of this being fully completed, so we will actually improve it. And there is one thing that I did leave out, and that is the template name is equal to postdetail.html. That is going to actually integrate in there. Cool. So the next thing is we don't want instance being inside of our contact object anymore. We want it to be object. That is, we want it to go off of the default. So I can change instance.title. I actually don't need that any longer. The one thing that I might want is this share string. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of everything from instance and just leave this one thing in here. So we have it. And that's pretty much where I'll leave it as far as the detail view is concerned um, because we have these sort of requirements that just probably is adding too much complexity to trying to solve this one thing right now. So that means since I've changed it to object, I need to go into my template and actually change that. So I'm gonna also change my URL. So let's go ahead and leave this open. I'm gonna just open up a new link here and we're gonna go into our URLs. So urls.py, see the view import here. We're gonna go ahead and import our new post detail view. And we'll just take in post detail view and change the old one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this old one and paste below it. And we'll add this here dot as view. And this is in Django code review number three on joincfe.com slash YouTube. Okay, so now our URL is correct. The last thing that I need to do is correct my actual template. So we're gonna go ahead and update this and I'll go into my templates, which is on Django um, SRC templates and the post detail template here. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and I'm gonna move remove everything of instance.title to object.title because again, we're, we're changing it from the class-based view or the, from the function-based view to the class-based view. So everything in here is going to change ever so slightly to handle all that. So I'm just gonna do a quick search in here for instance and just change everything I can for instance. And object, object, and looks like everything has been changed. So I've now completed this actual class-based view in a way that is a little bit more user-friendly than the detail view. Now, it looks like I actually have more code on here, but really, if I go ahead and change how I did my get query set method, or if I came in here and did a define get query set, I can actually change how all this is gonna be ran through as well. But that's not something I'm gonna cover at this time. It's just something to know about but this is an improvement from using that function-based view because you want to switch and transition into doing class-based views for so many reasons. We cover this a lot on joincfe.com slash projects in the class-based views uh, actual series. So definitely consider taking a look at that if you want to learn more about this. So that's it for Django code review number three. If you have any questions, please let us know. Again, if you want us to review your code, please let us know in the comments below of any Django code review video on jointcv.com slash YouTube and make sure that you have been a subscriber. Thanks for watching.